box. You get, of course, the Nook, which I had to decide. You get, uh, in here, you get the accessories, which is basically just, um, the charger. And you have the, uh, charger the plug into the wall. And that's basically all you get in the box. Now, here is the Nook color itself. As you can see, this is the actual, this is a case that I bought. Uh, you can get it at Barnes, you can get a case at Barnes and Noble or anywhere really. It's the internet. So when you uh, first start it up, this is what it's gonna look like, and it's mm, it's much smaller than an iPad, but it doesn't have all the features of an iPad. So um, this is what you get when you first start up. It's actually quite simple. You just you can either play the video or skip it. In this case, I'm gonna skip it because I've already seen it. You uh, accept the terms and conditions. You pick your um, your time zone, and mine is Eastern. You check your networks. Sorry, guys, I just can't. And uh, etc. Um, and then you click next, and you'll type in your Barnes and Noble's um, ID. Or pass. Uh, I guess it's like uh, your account. If you don't have one, you can always create a new one. It uh, helps you do that here. Um, so let's get to the reviewing portion of this. Um, uh, it's a it's a pretty small device. It's actually really light. And um, when you take it out of your little, let's take this out of the case or try to. If we can attempt to. Oh, there we go. When you uh, first see it, it's actually pretty small. It's really nice material on the back, so if you're just holding it without a case, it's perfect. It's pretty small in comparison to my hand. It's, it's quite a bit larger than my hand, but it's not, like, humongous because I have very small hands. Um, when compared to, say, an old generation PSP, it's, it's, it's not that much bigger, really. Um, and it's actually really thin. So I don't know if that's a great comparison, but if you had a PSP, it's about, you know, just a little bit larger but a lot thinner. Um, there's not much to it, is you've got your on and off switch, your lock button, lock screen. You've got a, a port for your headphones, because you can go on the internet with this new color. You've got your, um, your, uh, volume switches here. You've got your little nook button. And, uh, you've got your little plug-in for your charger. And you can also put a, uh, lanyard through here and carry it like that. Um... <sighs> I would recommend this for people who actually really love to read. I'm not much of a reader. I only use this for my textbooks. But if you're a college student and you don't want to buy uh, tons and tons of textbooks, uh, this is definitely the way to go. You could always uh, just uh, buy your books online. And here you, uh, it does allow you to highlight and take notes and mark pages and all that. And so it would be a great deal if you wanted to just stay light and still have all the material you need. As you can see, this, the screen is kind of a fingerprint magnet, but you can easily wipe that off with a, with a cloth. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend this to a lot of people, especially college students if you're really just willing to, you know, step away from the books and go a little more electronic or e-friendly. Um, if not, then I suggest you just stick to the regular books. If you don't read as much as you should or you don't have enough time, this probably isn't the right device for you because it is a little on the pricey side. Um, I know it's just been reduced because of the new, uh, the new, uh, uh, I think Nook or something that they just released. Um, so that's my quick review on the Nook Color by Barnes and Nobles. Uh, my, the summary of this would be that if you're a college student and you have a lot of books, this would be a great, uh, thing for Christmas. And if you just love and love and love to read, this is definitely the way to go. This is much easier, much more portable. You can carry, uh... I can guarantee you like a million times more books than, than you could if you just actually have paper cop paper copies. Um, but if you're more on the a light reader, I would recommend something else because this is just too expensive for too little use. So thanks for watching. This has been a Simple Tech TV review, and I will see you guys next time.